Joe Biden was the vice president to Obama, and now he is, he's a Democrat, and he's considering running for president, they say. And when they realized that he was going to run, or might run, there were some women who came out of five years ago, ten years, and accused him of sexual misconduct, or being creepy, or he deal with kids uh, in the wrong way, or sexual way, or whatever they're saying, right? And then a lot of people are believing that. And I just want to know why. That's what I'm asking about, do you trust what you see with the eyes? Never, ever, ever, never, 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 ever, ever, never, ever trust what you see with your eyes. Don't trust your eyes and don't trust what you hear. All right? Number one, if you pay attention, you're going to see that when you see certain things with your eyes, you're being influenced by the voice of Satan about it. He's making the decision, making you believe that you're seeing what you're seeing with your physical eyes. And you cannot even be around. We haven't been around Joe Biden. We don't know anything about Joe Biden. But the ones who are against him are presenting him in a way where made you judge him and go against him based on what they show you. And I don't agree with Joe about politics at all. I would never vote for him and all that. But it's not right. And God said we should treat people, uh, don't do unto others that you would not have them do unto you. And as you judge Joe Biden based on what someone else is showing you, it will come back on you because that's what you're putting out. And you can't trust your eyes because Satan control your eyes. He makes you see what you need to see to stay in a fallen state, to judge your fellow man. I know women, especially women who have told me this. I don't know if any men have said it, but they could be walking across the road and the traffic stop. And then people are just looking at them to make sure they're crossed before they take off. And they think that the person is thinking negatively of them. Oh, they think I'm ugly. They think I'm fat. And they believe it. And so they look at this person and they see something that's not happening. You cannot trust what you see. And never trust what you hear. Always wait and see for yourself. Because people can tell you lies about other people. And if you don't know it for yourself, you can judge that person and get angry at them or go and tell someone else about it. You ruin their reputation. And then you find out later that, oh, it didn't happen. You finally ask the person, like, no, that didn't happen. What are you talking about? But you've gone around and spread a rumor about someone else and ruined their reputation. How are they going to put it back together again? It's like throwing feathers up in the air from a pillow, and now you find out it wasn't true. How do you gather that back, you know? So don't, we got to be in the world, but not of the world. And the world don't like us. They just want us for votes and to use us. They don't care about us. And they don't mind lying to you and giving you all kind of imagery, imagery to control you, to get you believe into a lie. Don't trust what you can see with your finger. Uh, don't doubt it either. Just let it pass by. Have no opinion about it until you know for yourself. It's the, Satan's mind don't want you to accept you don't know. It want to make you believe something. And it's always lies. How many times someone has asked you about something and you had no clue about it, but you just make up a lie? Act like you're smart. Act like you know, right? I, when I, if, if, if I'm traveling around and I'm lost on the street for some reason, I need to know where another street, I stop and ask someone. And rather than they say, that person saying, oh, I don't know, they start looking around in their head and they give you the wrong direction. <laughs> they, but because they can't say, I don't know. Because Satan won't let you say, the ego won't let you admit you don't know. So I want you to pay attention to that. You can't trust your eyes. And when I saw the president, the great white hope, run that same video, I still didn't go against Joe. I saw that he was running that to get the votes, to encourage the people to vote for him. I didn't, it didn't make me judge Joe Biden at all. But you got to be careful what you're doing, for. It's a spiritual battle, and what you put out will come back on you. That's why God said, judge not lest you be judged. You will be judged. Somebody's going to judge you. But if you don't, if they should judge you, it won't bother you. You get past it. 
So be aware of what the world is doing. The world is setting you up to fail in life. The reason so many people have a sex before marriage and living together, they believe the lies of the world. Oh, it's okay to have sex before marriage. It's okay to have an abortion. It's okay to uh, live together before marriage. It's just love. And it's not love. It's just sex. That's why it doesn't work. All right. So be aware. Don't trust what you see with your eyes. Even with the kids, I, I heard on um, the, uh, the hate report. Y'all know who the hate report is, right? That's James. The baddest white man in this side of heaven. Come let them see you, James. They can't see you back there. <laughs> That's the hate report right there. Uh, and somebody called in and said, well, what about the kids? I see it. I saw it in my own eye with the kids. You didn't see it. You just saw a video of it, right? And kids don't like for people to pat them on the head or kiss them on the cheek anyway. They go, oh, stop. They don't even like for their parents to do it. Just because a kid is, over, is reacting to someone pat them on the head or kiss on the cheek, that doesn't mean molestation or that you're being wrong. In the good old days, even when we went to church, and you took your child to church, the old people were like, hey, that's your baby. How you doing, baby? Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> and the kid like, ah. <laughs> now, we were like, like most people are today, we saw that, we'd be calling it molest. Oh, that's weird what they're doing. The kids just don't like it. They don't even like, at a certain age, they don't like for the parents to be kissing them and stuff. Have you noticed that? But they'll call that molestation nowadays, especially if a man is doing it. I'm telling you, the devil is busy. Don't ever believe anything that he tells you. He's lying about everything. Every thought is a lie. That's why God said, bring your thoughts into captivity. They all lies about everything. And don't believe another person just because they said it. If you don't see it for yourself, just let it pass. It's okay not to know. And he will reveal it to you if it's meant for you to know. All right.